Hi everyone! As you know, I've been making big changes in my life in every aspect, trying to take control of you know, what I put in my body, what I put on my body, what I put in my mind, just trying to be more conscious, you know? Uh, I'm actually doing a sugar detox challenge. I've been challenged by one of my best friends, Saran, and so I've committed. We went on a shopping trip yesterday to pick up some of the items that we would need for the sugar detox challenge, which means no sugar, none whatsoever for 21 days. So you can follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook public page just to see the journey to see if we actually make it through. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And when you do that, you will get videos straight to your inbox. Thanks for the support as always. Hope you enjoy. nutritionist yeah and you also have like a major background in food service, food service yep. that kind of stuff so um, I'm on in her group African Canadian and Caribbean moms for wellness. women for wellness <laughs> we'll say it again say it again Afro Canadian and Caribbean women for wellness yes it's a Facebook group and so we're doing a sugar detox challenge but I need to know what to get are you gonna like give us yeah recipes? so well I posted in the group yes um, a shopping list which I have oh, cool. okay. and uh, there's some links to different recipes and stuff that you can use okay um, so it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be exciting so we're at uh, Marchaleos Marchaleos is that what she said it is Mar Marshallios. Marshallios. Where, on where are we? Eglinton. On Eglinton. Okay, yeah. so let's see what they have. Okay. Okay, so let's start with produce. Um, produce. We're going to focus on a lot of green foods. Okay. Because green foods are full of vitamin C and iron. Okay. Green and help foods. to detoxify the body. Um, so we're gonna go and look at some greens. So if you could at least give me a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Like a typical, yeah. like, you know what I mean? I don't know. So I know you're vegetarian, but you eat, oh, what, you eat fish, eggs though, right? And I eat eggs. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Okay. So that's, that's good to know. Okay, so yes. let's start with breakfast first. Then. Organic okay. uh, eggs. And they got Vita eggs, free run. Why don't we go with those? So the Vita size. eggs, large size? Yep, organic okay. eggs. Okay. You pick it up. I don't okay. have any hands. Okay. I don't have any hands to hand. <laughs> okay, so on a typical morning, we can have like eggs. eggs. So we can do a scramble or an omelet with um, sauteed mushrooms and kale, okay. onions, and some peppers. So no sugar means. So no for sugar. Breakfast would mean so no sugar means that we're gonna reduce you know the amount of sugar that we take so for example if you have coffee in the morning right. we're gonna replace coffee with some uh, bitter tea okay yeah so like a dandelion root tea it's, oh it's, obviously the dandelion yeah. root tea it's really good has that really nice nutty kind okay. of taste okay so no so sugar in no your tea no sugar in the tea no right. bread though. no bread Right? So we're just All bread has sugar? Yes. So it, it's yeah. it's about how your body breaks down the, the carbohydrates. Okay. And um, uh, white bread, for example, breaks down to sugar very quickly. So exactly. the typical breakfast of bacon and eggs and um, a slice of toast, a cup of coffee, you've really already exceeded your sugar intake for the day. Um, See? Right? Okay. So okay. let's let's kind yes. of focus on um, getting some really healthy foods in that are gonna help keep your blood sugar level and even. We want to um, be level and even. Okay. Yes. That's so, cool. so what you're saying is I need to like 
do something other than just pour my cereal in the morning. Yes. So you're gonna actually want to cook. Some of these things you can actually prep ahead. So if you chop your vegetables up okay, the true, night true, before, true, true. Um, and just have them ready for a quick saute in your pan with um, some coconut oil um, or some ghee. Coconut oil. Okay. Yes. I don't like the way coconut oil tastes in my food. I don't know why. I can try it with egg. I'm willing to try again. So the, if you don't like coconut oil, you can use ghee. Um, okay. Ghee is a clarified butter. How do you spell ghee? G H E. G H E. Okay. E E. E. It's used a lot in Indian. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. So let's so get yes. some veggies to cook with the salad with the egg. Um, so we just got leeks. So we're gonna do mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms? Like, does it matter when uh, you cook your mushrooms? What do you like? I really love portobello. They're very meaty. They kind of have like, they taste yes. kind of meaty, right? Sometimes I make a portobello, portobello um, burger. Yeah. Like I exchange the burger for the, the mushroom for the burger. You know what I mean? So we can get some mushrooms. Okay. Um, and then I'm supposed to chop those up yep. finely. Yep. But I can prep it beforehand. Absolutely. Okay. We'll get some. Let's see. We'll get some kale. Kale is really high in vitamin C. Kale it's for also C. high in iron, and it does have calcium as well. So. And and my husband likes kale. Yes. Now you were also saying that the first part of the challenge. I'm taller than I you. Know, I know, and I never look at the actual screen. I'm so bad. You were also saying the first part of the challenge. You want to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> We're new at this. <laughs> it's up with that. The first part of the challenge is about a, a, a liquid cleanse. Yeah, so we're just gonna ease into it a little bit. We're gonna give, give the body a little bit of a reset. Okay. So we'll start with um, a, a liquid uh, cleanse. So we're doing smoothies and soups. Alone. Uh, very nourishing. Like no, um, so, no, no solid thing. No things. solid thing. So in the morning, we'll do we start with chlorophyll, like a lemon and chlorophyll. Okay. Chlorophyll is amazing for detoxing the body. Okay. Um, and then we, you'll have like a, a green smoothie, for example. Yes. And then, you know, again, sort of throughout the day um, or between uh, breakfast and lunch, you'll do another like herbal tea, you know, like a dandelion root tea or Circe Karyla. No? So Caribbean Karyla. Karyla, yeah. that's the Yeah, bitter worst. melon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's God. really good. Your liver loves bitter. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go find some of these soup for this first part of the challenge. Um, can you give us a recipe for one, a popular one? Or what so, a lentil use? soup. It's pretty simple. Okay. Um, so you can, can I just use the lentil soup in the can, like AMEs or something? Or uh, you want me to make it? Yes. It has a lot of sodium. Like yes. That. So it's better if you make it yourself. And I actually prefer to use dried lentils and then okay. sprout them. Ideally, you want sprouted beans because... I'm kind of gassy. Exactly, you know. So a lot of people, when they're making beans, they don't soak them and they don't okay. sprout them. Sprout, sprouting them actually increases the nutrient content of the beans. Can you find sprouted beans? So, yeah, that would be... Yes, you can sometimes. I'm not sure if you can get them in here, but... You, We'll probably be able to get the dried ones, and then if you at the very least soak them overnight, um, then that there? would uh, this be really helpful in terms of digestion. So this is this is your guy here. Okay, green so they, these are green lentils, Eden Organic. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good brand, I would say. So you get like one box. Like, how long is this gonna last? Oh, this is a lot because beans swell, and I always forget this when I put some to soak yeah. and then I have so much so you don't really need a whole lot okay um, you soak them overnight and then if, when you're actually making the soup saute um, your onions and your garlic etc just like it was the like, yeah. meat or something yeah. um, and then you're gonna add your beans and your seasonings your spices um, add veggie stock um, low sodium okay. and um, and then allow it to simmer until it's soft 
We were looking at veggie broth. Yeah. And then just looking at the ingredients. So these two are both organic. Right. Um, but when you look at the labels, and remember we're doing a sugar detox uh, challenge. Exactly. So the one from Imagine, uh, it actually has cane syrup in it. You wouldn't okay, think it has sugar. Okay. You wouldn't think that uh, veggie broth would have sugar in it, but this one does. And this one from Campbell's has pear juice and wheat. So the pear juice yeah. is sugar. Yes. Well, not really. And well, wheat. Yeah. And we can't have wheat because it breaks. It doesn't break. It breaks. It's a carb. Well, we don't. We want to avoid wheat for this particular challenge, just okay. because we're focusing on whole foods. Um, we're reducing grains um, and complex carbohydrates. So which so one, this do one does the lesser of the two evils? So I would not probably pick up either one of these. It's probably better to just make your own veggie broth. It's really easy. I don't want to make my own. Okay, I'm a major snacker. What am I supposed to eat? If it's not sugar okay so you want to replace like when that sugar craving kicks in you want to um, replace that sugary snack that candy bar that chocolate bar with a healthy fat and protein okay so nuts are a really good option so there's almonds right walnuts I don't like these <laughs> Walnuts are really good. They're very high in like omega 3s. I love this with dried not fruit like You like sugar yeah. and cranberry But by itself, yeah, so I normally just eat out like the mixed things So that that will really help because it's gonna give you a little bit of um, that satiated this feeling. This is good. These are okay. Yeah um, And then you can do nut butters as well. So if you wanted to do like an almond butter with some celery, celery sticks, right? That's a really good option. We actually a really good have snack. Okay, Saran. Okay. Okay. So we're, we've done a little bit of a shop um, just to get kind of get us started. Um, we've got a few things so that will cover breakfast, and lunch, and dinner after the liquid cleanse, as well as a few ingredients that we can use during the liquid liquid cleanse. Um, I really like this. I love moringa actually. Um, it grows really well um, in tropical environments, but it, it grows anywhere. It can even grow in Canada if you, because it grows so quickly. Um, it's very high in vitamins. And we got some wild salmon. Salmon, mm -hmm. amazing for dinner. Um, we this got is some a cheat, a cheat soup. Well, just a lazy just soup. A lazy soup. That's okay. Um, quinoa, red and and white. Um, a great side dish. What's got that? some carrots. We got a spaghetti squash. Mm. Another really good, great side. You can do it with a salmon. Um, we've got watercress. Yeah. Amazing. Um, great in salad. Um, you can add uh, you can do that with some tomatoes and your cucumbers. Um, I think we have some kale in here as well. We do have kale. We've got some lemon. We can do your lemon water in the morning. Yeah. A bit of chlorophyll. And we got the ghee. Organic, lactose free. Um, um, and there's some mushrooms in there. And a little bit of fresh herbs. I know you don't use a lot, but oregano is really good. Um, and quick tri trick or tip. Oh yeah. If you have um, uh, fresh herbs that you don't want to go bad, you can put them. Get an ice ice tray and put them in ice tray and pour some olive oil on top. Put it in the freezer and then pop them out whenever you need to use them. Yeah, because they really always go to, bad. But that's yeah. a good idea too. Yeah, so a really great way to preserve your. Uh, fresh I like it. Okay, okay. We're, we're done. done. Yeah, we got everything. <laughs> Just to get you started. Yeah. Oh good, kind of. Okay, so you're gonna actually be cooking some really good healthy food. I will. 
Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. Much appreciated. Okay, let's So, go. Anika's gonna be cooking and she'll maybe even film it and let you guys know oh, no. what she comes I, up with. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. <laughs>